And if it gets worse, we're just going to pump more. Yeah. By the way, slide 47 was the one that I kept losing. Because not everybody knows that in rate of change terms, the Fed has been more aggressive than every other country that matters. Uh, therefore, that's been bearish for the dollar. But look at this. Like, this is color-coded, okay? This is color-coded for the darkest part of the map is those who have been the most egregious and socialist in terms of bailouts and handing out money, okay? So again, this, right here, see this? There's this. There's a little bit of this over here in Japan, but this is by far and away. And if you can't read that, just look at all the countries, okay? So um, it's, it's the, the USA, I guess you, you, could, you could say, okay, we have one here, but here. So again, this is like, if anyone's read Roman history, again, we have crossed the Rubicon, okay? This is it when it comes to the Federal Reserve having the handoff to the Treasury to work in concert ahead of an election to quite literally burn the credibility of the purchasing power of the American people, which is the US dollar. Now, if they want to keep doing that, you know, for those of you that are actually Americans, you know, I, I'd say that at least a couple of you should put up your hand and get a little pissed off about it, because I am. You know, I have an American family. I have a green card. This is not going to end well. It hasn't ever for any country in the history of any countries, running 25 to 30% deficits, you know, and just like everyone kind of like in the, in the top 2% running around, ha ha, look at my new house. It's like, no, this, it's not gonna end well. Uh, I had a great call last week, uh, for those of you that read my early look on Friday, with one of the world's best money managers. And I'm talk talking, he's in the 95th percentile of performers right now uh, for this year. And he was, he said, this is gonna end in riots. If I keep making money on this kind of crazy stuff, you know, it's going to end in riots because the guy who's making my lobsters in Maine here, he's a summer house in Maine, you know, he's like, he's not around. Real people aren't around. They don't have jobs. This is bad. You know, so again, I didn't need that qualitative observation, but I did, it was, I found it particularly interesting where this guy could have been as cocky as old hell about his performance about being long gold. And he's basically like long gold, gold miners and tech and some uh, healthcare companies that have uh, alleged vaccines or not, healthcare companies that he likes, like Teladoc, Teladoc, One Medical, names that we like. You know, so again, this is where we're going. This isn't, it, it's not a free lunch for everyone forever, right? You know, like, like Dave Portney, let's okay. just tweet it to today, I love the guy, but he's like, let's go fuck some shit up, you know? <laughs> and he gets to get, re, it'll get retweeted as many times as possible. And apologies to your kids. I know most of them aren't watching it this morning during the school season. I said that word too many times, but that's what he tweeted. You know, yeah. So again, it is what it is. If you think it's going to end this, this is the way that it's going to be all the time because it's the way that it just was over the last one to three months. You are captive to what is, again, the recency bias in your own brain. There have been many Nobel Prizes handed out for that very basic fact of calling that out in your head. And at some point in the future, could be tomorrow or Wednesday, by the way, uh, or not, it's going to change. And you'll be like, oh my God. 